an opportunity to uh, let us know if they'd like to be a little more involved in what we're doing or even be more aware of what services we provide. So first of all, I'm going to introduce our staff and uh, these are the girls that run the place. Um, the volunteers certainly work really, really hard, but they're the ones that tell us where to go. <laughs> In a very nice way. Yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is Marilyn Bjorkman, and she's the volunteer coordinator. This is Susan Ryu, you got it. Dayway coordinator, Hello. and um, Veronica Hoops, who looks after Gordon and the bills. Very important. <laughs> So that's our staff, and they're very friendly, very helpful. We couldn't, that's for sure. So. <laughs> Let's see now. Oh, Bonnie Thrill is my name. Be president of the board. My term at the end of the month, saying, I can, my son gave me a really good idea, drunk. <laughs> yes. 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 Some do is a quick here. Can you see it there? Or should I have it? Okay. Um, it won't take long, and it's not uh, what you would call in depth. Uh, you all know what? Need to stand on the tattoo. My prescription. Now there'll be none of that too bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This is our address. You know where we are because you got here, right? So that's a lot of people don't know. The thing they don't know is what we do. So that's what we're coming here. We are an organization years volunteer to the work we do, who assist elders in our community, independent, healthy, able by providing information, services, and programs to support them. That's what our purpose is. It provides recreation activities, which the other seniors do, and they do very well. It's not required by card playing and activities like that. That role to Seniors Bench 109 and the drop the canoe drop-in center, and there are others too in Sorrento Silver Creek area. Those are the, the more of the social groups. Our force is two part-time paid staff who you met, and 200 plus volunteer positions. Now in that, that doesn't mean there's 200 volunteers because several are volunteers help in more than one position. But we, we that's a lot of volunteer positions to have. And we are governed by a volunteer board. Who did that lovely printing? That's Rose Bosch did that. She's a she, marvelous. It is. <laughs> She's wonderful. Our funding sources. Our operating funds are provided by the Interior Health Authority, who fund our day away program. BC Gaming, we apply every year and we try every year to get what we really need and then they give us how much they figure we deserve. Uh, donations are very important to us, uh, individual donations. Fundraising, little fundraising projects that we have done, which up till now the board on a lot of them on their own, but we need more of that. And memberships, memberships are very important to us too. Now it's only $10 each. But it then, once you can explain how many members you have, that justifies your applications for grants in lots of cases. Um, special projects, when we have a project, we get, we apply to the foundation, the, the Shop Community Foundation and Vancouver Foundation, if it's a big project, and service clubs. And then we do special fundraising for special things. The support of Seminar is very good to us. They are currently paying our rent here, which is helping us be able to stay here. But uh, that is that agreement is up at the end of August next year. So that's something to keep in mind. And then the local businesses and services also help. You know that our, our uh, shopping programs are through ASCII, so they're doing very good. So here are our programs. And I'm just going to run through them quickly. And then after that, Marilyn and Liz will explain for some of them what the volunteer does in, in these groups. Because if you want to, if you think, gee, that sounds like something I could do, then after the end of this meeting, you could <coughs> go and let Marilyn know <coughs> and perhaps take part in that program. So our programs are Lunch with Friends, which is uh, once a week at the Catholic Church basement. 
they're provided with a healthy meal, and it's mostly the uh, social aspect. They meet their friends who are there every week with them, and then there's also things like um, bingo or music or something like that too afterwards. Uh, Meals on Wheels, I think everyone's heard of. It's not a large program anymore because there are so many now, and the other promoted by the hospital, and, and it has to be referred by the hospital to the, the person has to apply to the hospital for Meals on Wheels. Dinners at Home is now uh, better meals. Uh, it's, uh, they're frozen meals that are nutritionally correct and uh, very convenient for seniors. And um, sometimes for some seniors, it provides even more than one meal. But they're frozen meals, very convenient to have in their home and whip up quickly so that they're not having to make a meal for one person. Um, where am I? Monday morning market and shop and drop. Those are both the shopping uh, assistance programs at ASCUS. Monday morning market, the seniors <coughs> come and the uh, volunteers help them shop. And then afterwards, they have coffee at the little coffee shop beside ASCUS there. And they're transported to and from by transit. And, and shop and drop is uh, for homebound people who will phone in their order to ASCUS. Volunteers shop is then it's delivered to their home. Uh, senior advisors, uh, we have three now, and uh, <coughs> there's two days a week that they are able that you are able to make an appointment. And it's mostly for helping people apply for uh, pensions and that kind of thing, where, where it's, um, or have questions about something they've received and they don't understand, or how to go about looking after mainly pensions and financial matters. Um, they're an appointment is usually required, although people sometimes drop in and can be looked after. And when it's <coughs> even more immediate and the senior advisor's not here, both Marilyn and, and Susan and Veronica can help in an emergency in most cases. Uh, volunteer drives, that's when um, a senior has a um, medical appointment in Vernon or Kelowna or and, um, needs need a way to get there. And uh, that has to be booked in advance as well. And there is a charge for that in that there's a, a schedule for whichever way, wherever you go, there's a, an amount that's payable to the driver to help cover the gas and that kind of thing. Uh, day Away is our adult daycare program. And it's also a caregiver's respite, actually, because the, um, the senior comes here at 9. They have a nice coffee break. They have activities and they have a lunch, and then they go home around 2. And Susan will explain a little more about that and what the volunteers would do in that program. Uh, Caregivers group is a support group, and they meet here on a th every or twice a month on a Thursday afternoon. And it's for people who uh, have a spouse or a family member that they're supporting through a chronic uh, illness. Uh, friendly check-in is a telephone um, uh, service. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we phone of the people that have been referred to us by the health unit, and it's just a, hi, how are you doing, and is everything going okay, and somebody cares, you know? And uh, that is, uh, I think, a very valuable program, and it's not been used a lot, uh, because I guess they're just referred by the, by the health unit for people that they feel really need it. Um, and Falls Prevention is our latest program. And we, it's only been in operation less than a year. And right so far, all we're trying to do is let people know the facts about falls prevention, how large um, a, a medical problem it is for seniors. And, and then now we're getting into exercise programs and how we can keep people more uh, stable and well-balanced and uh, able to avoid falls. They, they are a very costly part of the health system. And of course, it it's can just, um, well, it changes a person's life. We have our board members who had a bad fall, and <laughs> it's changed their life considerably. So uh, that's a, it's a very valuable program, and we're hoping that it, we can continue it. We've had uh, special funding this year to get it going, and we're hoping we can continue it and get into it even further. Um, these are partnership programs, foot care,